We're recycling a composition notebook today and getting a tall, skinny journal. Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I have some giveaways on my channel that I've been doing, and I need a place to keep track of them. So I thought that the composition book would be a great place. We're going to make a tall, skinny composition book journal. Um, using a composition book. I've already taken the pages that I had left out of this one. Um, it did come apart here a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add some of the bandage that I use. Okay, so if you've been around this channel, you've seen that I, I use this, um, and I like to cut it with my resist the sticky scissors. I'm just going to go ahead and rather than do the big long piece, I'm going to do this. Okay. So I'm going to put that in two spots. Oh, wow. Check it out. Okay. We'll do that and we'll do that. I like the ready look, <laughs> actually. Okay, so that will hold it together on the inside. The outside is seems to be very, very strong. Okay, um, I'm going to leave this right now just as it is. I have an idea of something to do to it maybe at another time. But I need this to happen pretty quickly. Um, so we are going to take this apart. So it's a pretty big day over on Paper Terrace. So if you all know um, Jessica, she is having her live video for her 70K. She hit 70,000 subscribers and she's doing a live video. And that will be um, right after this one. So I will put the link to her video at the end of this. You see that I'm cutting the papers in half and then I'm gonna stack them over here. And I have so many composition books. I buy them during school supply um, season. And um, we used to be able to get them for like 25 cents each. We'll see what 2023 does. Um, but I have, I have so many that this is not even going to make a dent. I do not need all these pages. However... I have like four of the covers and I thought, well, maybe I'll make some and um, have them in my sale. So we'll see about that. So I am having a sale here at 1030 Pacific Standard Time on Tuesday. It'll be a live supply and things that I've made haul or haul <laughs> sale. So now I'm going to take these and I'm just going to go ahead and fold them in half. Okay. I need a tall, skinny um, journal is what I need. Um, I need it to be lists because I, I need to be able to write out the lists in it. Uh, I do this every once in a while. I, I find that I need uh, a new one. And I have a place to put this right here by my desk so that I can keep track. And, um, yeah, and I like them all in one place. I, I had been putting them on note papers and that is, that does not work well for me. Okay, so folding these in half and then I'll go through and pick out pick out some so yeah now this since this is something that I'm going to continue to need I am going to make it um I don't I think they call it do they call it Midori style whatever it is that where you um use elastic from the outside to hold the the journal inside and you and you reuse the cover over and over um, I'm coming up with a blank on what that is. So I have several of these that are ready. I think we'll just start with this one. And um, you can go ahead, of course, and round them 
if that's gonna gonna bother you. I don't know if it's gonna bother me or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and round them. I don't know. It's not a string. We know strings bother me. So we're gonna go ahead and round the, the back pieces here if it'll if it'll let me. Okay, and then I am going to go ahead and just um, find this this little piece. Okay, okay, just like that, just like that. Now I could use drawing paper if I wanted something for drawings. I have this. Um, yeah, I think that'll be be just fine. So for binding, we're gonna want our binding kit. For me, a binding kit is the four clips. Okay, just to help hold the pages where they're supposed to be. Um, on this particular one, I am just gonna do three whole pamphlet stitch. So yes, I'm binding on this um, for this video just because uh, we'll just make part make it part of it. If you are from here, you know that I don't normally um, bind on camera, and but we just want to get this done. <laughs> you never know; this part might get edited out. Maybe we should try one of my elderly needles. We haven't done that yet. So I got these um, in my Timu order. They were, it was 72 cents. You got 12 needles and the case. And they really did call them elderly needles. <laughs> okay, we'll just put that just like that. Okay. And they come in from the side where the other one so that I usually get come in from the top. Okay, so let's see, just go in. Just like that. So in and this thread has a, a few pieces to it, so. Okay, then I'm gonna use my favorite pokey tool. A thumbtack. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we're just gonna give it three holes. Find our needle. So, um, I'm filming this on Saturday and today the birds started building a nest in the lantern globe outside my kitchen window. So the mama and the daddy are working diligently today um, building that. So I was like, oh no, I've got to go get my wreath. I'm going to use the same spring wreath as last year. I cleaned it up. Um, I'm not going to, I was going to make a new one. And then I was like, you know what? The, bird will do, the birds will just come and build their nest in there. So, um, and I need to go check the nest on the, a nest check the wreath on the she shed and make sure it's nice and sturdy and none of the pieces are ready to fall out or anything. And so get those ready for um, my birds that come because apparently the birds that come here don't want houses. They want to be on a wreath <laughs> or in one of my lanterns hanging up in front of my kitchen window. I actually think it's a gift that... Um, they have decided to come and see me. I'm just going to tie a bow. This is something I want very simple because it it's just a working journal. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to go ahead, come to the cover, and what I wanted to do is I want to make sure that I'm going to um, be big enough so we're going to go ahead and we'll cut this right at that line. How exciting. It's like going to be 
perfect. So I love to use and recycle when I can. And I just think this is going to be perfect. Um, and look at, I think we could make another one using the cover piece as well. Okay. And I might decorate the cover eventually. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this just like that. And I will know where I need to cut, cut that. So um, we are busy planning our vacations that look like they're all going to have to do with uh, graduations. So that's uh, exciting. Okay, I went a little bit over, but I think it's, it's where it's supposed to be. But I'm going to go ahead and cut a little more off. Okay. off the front piece because it's natural place it was not in the right place okay now oh good it did okay there we go yeah I like that okay now I can just use a headband and put that in there and that will hold that um, so let me grab one and I will be right back. Okay, so I grabbed a headband and I grabbed a pink one because this is the colors that I like to use in my craft room. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on here and then lay it out. Okay. So that's what you're gonna see from the outside edge. And then, <laughs> what did we do with the, there it is. <laughs> okay, and then this can just go on the inside. Now, I actually think I want to put this on the back instead of in the middle. Okay, so like this. Okay, so like like this. And um, there we go. Okay, again, this is a, a working piece for me. And then this will come in and we will lay it down and tell it who's boss because that's how we do things around here. It's pulling a little tight. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to cut this bottom, bottom piece off. work in progress and we'll slip that through and that can go on there and then what we'll do is we'll take our strings here and we will push this over okay push that over and we'll attach this here okay so I want to attach it at the side. There we go. Okay. And there we go. And I will be able to use this. Just like that. And then when I've filled this up, I can file it. And I, I will go ahead and have a couple of backups already ready. And so, um, you might want to do something to the cover and I'm looking to see what I have. Okay. Going along with my theme that I'm going with as I start to decorate 
my um, craft room. I think this is going to work. And so I'm going to go ahead. Um, these are some of the papers that I had picked up at Dollar General. They are uh, American Craft. And I think this will work really well. Let me put this up where it goes so that it doesn't um, buckle. Okay, so I want to go right up to this right here. So I'm going to make a little note, come down. I did not round the corners on this at this time. Okay, so we'll go to there. And... So hopefully that should, that should work. Giving me a little cover piece. Again, this is a working journal, so I don't think I need to have a, um, you know, it doesn't need to be super decorative. I will probably want to put a pocket on the inside. Um, I think I can... I think I can leave the back. I think I just want to um, decorate the front. Let's see how this is going to do. That's going to leave a little bit of... No, actually, I think it'll be fine. Okay. We have bottoms of these. So let's go ahead and, and use some of our XL because this is shiny, okay? So, but I do know that my um, my regular Tombow Mono that I like to use would work on this. Because um, it works on cereal boxes. Okay, the bottom of this one does not have the cool ridges, just, just so you know does not have the cool ridges like the Tombow Mono. Hopefully they're not going to switch away from that because that's one of the things I really like about them. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I want to come up to the edge of the composition book. There we go. And got pages. Like I said, I think I want a pocket on the inside and maybe a double pocket. Okay. So let's go with there. Sorry about that. Whoop. Are we straight? We're straight. Okay. There's that. Okay. I just want to place, in case I do a, a note, um, you know, take some, there we go. Make a list and it's not, okay, so double pocket. Um, so if I make a list and it, gosh, I, my chair keeps getting stuck on something. I'm going to have to clean up underneath here, I guess. Okay, so this one, we're going to go ahead and go around the outside. That might be why that, that one was over here. It's like use up the bottom because it's not um, coming out the top. Okay. So we'll just go around. We'll make a pocket at 
up here. So this will be a little bit deeper pocket and then we'll have a shallow pocket in front of it. Okay, and of course, if you were doing something like this, um, go ahead and, you know, you can add other papers and things. Like I said, this is a, this journal has a job to do for me. Okay, so there we go. Just adding in some papers, adding this here. I'm okay with the way that this is um, coming in, but I think it's going to hold it. And I think it's going to sit really well right here next to me so that I can keep track of those of you that have won prizes. So, um, I'm really excited and we're going to go ahead and start with this right now. So you'll be able to see, um, the winners from this week's, uh, did, uh, what is it? Did the thing, did the thing. Okay. So, and then I also grabbed uh, a hair tie that I can use in this direction to hold it, this, to hold it closed this way. And that was more in case I added more. So I could have more than one um, of these in here, but I think this is enough. I think um, having it this thick and it only taking up this much space up here for me, I think that that's going to be a good amount. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, video of making a list journal that's going to have a job. Do you have something that you need to keep track of? Simple, simple, simple. And reusing our composition notebook. I love it, the cover and everything. And I think we can make another one out of these parts, okay? So you could make two of these out of one composition book using fabric for the outside possibly. Um, you could even cover this and then add your fabric like a regular, like you would a regular book, okay? Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget that the digitals are still on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Those are the spring and the Easter digitals. That is through Tuesday. And to, on Monday, we'll have our mini challenge in the challenge. It's coming back. <laughs> and Monday, the Diamond and Emerald Patreons, they get the sneak peek. Actually, they get the whole video for the um, April challenge and early entry into the group. So thank you all so much for being here. Have an amazing day. Um, if you're planning to go shopping on Timu, that little, um, the link and the special code that I have for 30% off your first order, that's in the description box down below as well. If you're still here, don't forget to go on over to Paper Terrace, her live 70,000 subscriber party is going on right now. The link to her video is in the description box down below. Tell her I said hi. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.